We had a pretty in-depth conversation with Andres about Ukrainian refugees heading to the United States and why so many of them are going to be right here in Chicago's Ukrainian village. When someone is going to another country, they don't speak the language, they don't know the culture, you're going to go where at least you have a friendly face. Or at the very least, you'll know some people that speak your language. Um, so yeah, I do believe Chicago is going to see a significant influx of those refugees. But the process to even get in the United States, it's not easy at all. The challenge with asylum or refugee is it's kind of a narrow definition. It doesn't include people who are freeing uh, war or violence or have exceptional circumstances. It is people who have well-founded fear of persecution due to their race, religion, nationality, political opinion, or membership in a particular social group. So not suggesting that Ukrainians can't fit into the criteria, the criteria but it's not automatic. Now, Andres knows so much about the challenges of getting into the United States because he had to deal with it himself. In the Bible, you know, it tells us uh, we were all strangers in a strange land. That, that, that certainly was true for me and my family. I mean, I was born in Santiago, Chile. I came to the U.S. as a child not speaking English. I moved to Israel as an adult not speaking Hebrew. And I came, when I came back to the U.S., I was only a green card holder. It was not my intention to stay. I had stayed outside the United States for too long. They ultimately did let me in. I committed to staying, to becoming a U.S. citizen. I met my wife, and here I am 25 years later. None of us know what, what, what the future holds. I do think that we need to help others.